Our first pick of this list is the legendary Barrel's Warhammer. Barrel's Warhammer is said to be an advanced ancient warhammer that was used by the legendary Barrel the Brave and was guarded by the Narval Worm until both Sasha and Captain Grime got it from the Worm's hind. The hammer is completely made of grey metal, has a large head with runes carved in the face with a rocket booster on the opposite side and is mounted on a purplish grey staff. When in use, it glows in pink runes. The hammer was owned by the legendary Toad warrior Barrel the Brave, who wielded it during and after his career as an utopian guard. Barrel would use the hammer when he and Princess Andiras chased down their friend Leif after he stole the Calamity Box. However, upon confronting her, Bear was unable to bring himself to strike, which gave Leif the opening to escape. Don't do it, Grime. I'm your father. Oh, Daddy. Is it really you? Yes, son. But now go and get your mother over there, and you just stay here. Okay, Dad. Wait a minute. I hate my dad. Days after Leif's escape. Andreas reassigned Barrel to guard villages up north as a punishment for his failure and he took his warhammer with him. Over 1000 years later, Sasha and Grime got the toad captains of the other toad's towers together and proposed through a presentation that they should unite and rebel against King Andreas. Here are you, and this is big bad King Andreas. King Andreas has been a bad bad boy. He hasn't flushed the toilet. He took the last donut without asking, and he even cheated in the yearly eating competition. So we propose that we overthrow King Andreas, and then we all can have a big grey party in the castle, and eat candy whenever we want. What do you think about that? The Toad's captains agreed on one condition. In order to earn the Toad's captains loyalty, they had to claim the Warhammer. Sasha and Grime were successful in retrieving the Warhammer, and by doing so gained the loyalty of the Toad's captains. Grime later used the hammer to strike down King Andreas and threatened to use it to crush his head so the Utopian army would surrender and the rebellion could begin. He later used it against Sprig, who after knocking Grime off his feet surprised the toad by lifting it. However, its rockets threw Sprig away, knocking Grime out. Grime kept using the hammer in combat until Darcy slide off his left arm, leaving him unable to wield it as a weapon any longer. During the episode The Hardest Thing, Andreas used the hammer as a cane to walk around as well as a spade for gardening. He let them marry the hammer and they had two baby hammers together and lived happily ever after, as you can see in this family photo. <laughs>